Okay, this is the first in a series of tutorials for Windows Movie Maker. Um, basically, this is the the video editing package that came out um, on the PC. I think something in response to the iMovie program that came out on the Mac. Um, basically, what happens is, you know, you'll open up your videos or your clips, and you can just drag them right over and it starts to import them. You'll see that it puts each of them in a different folder and for example this one wouldn't work um, the, the codec wasn't there but that's okay I've got what I need and so I've got these you know here's dedication I'll just drag that down to the movie and I'm using these um, royalty free images and video clips so that we don't have problems on YouTube. Um, I'm just dragging them down to my timeline so now I've just basically all I've done is I dragged these random little clips down here and if I click back at the beginning on my scrub line I can click play and I'm not sure if the music is coming through but it's pretty loud um, and basically it'll just go and then once it gets to that next step it'll jump to the next video and then it'll get to the next step and jump to the next video and that's kind of how that works. Now, if you get to that point where you want to edit something here, um, and let's see if I can get down here a little bit. I've got my title overlay, my audio. Um, now, right here, you can see I'm looking at just the regular timeline. If I click on storyboard, it shows individual clips. This is nice because in individual clips, you can do these special effects. For example, if I go to video effects, I can go up here to something like um, film age oldest and if I drag this on top of like I'm going to do this one here since it already looks kind of old and you can see now if I play that now I can also do something over here like hues entire spectrum I'll drag that there and if I play that Okay, so you can see what that does. Um, I'll just kind of fast forward through a little bit. Um, you can turn things sideways. You can do a sepia tone effect. Like I'll do that to the piano. Um, watercolor to the Grand Canyon. Okay, let's look at the sepia. Okay. And let's pick one last effect here. I'm going to pick something ease in, maybe. Drag that in there. All right. And now, I'm um, sorry, what I want to do is I want to add some effects, some transitions in between the two slides. So in here, I can put some transitions. So let's say I want to do checkerboard. And then on this one, I want to have this the circle and then the bow tie and the bars and I don't suggest you use a bunch of random ones like this but um, let me go to the timeline now and I'll get right here just before it transfers over and I'll click play and you can see I'd had that nice little okay so you can kind of see how you can quickly put a movie together now we haven't got into doing things like editing you know the other pieces um, such as breaking the clips up and stuff but let's say I get to a part in here and um, I want to e delete part of this so like maybe I want to get to this point in the clip and then cut it there's this little thing here that looks like a splitter and I click that and you'll see now I have two clips and I can drag this in a little bit get to where I want it cut it again and then I just have to click and delete that piece out so now it, it will kind of go from one to the other just like that so you can cut out pieces you don't want you can grab a clip and move it somewhere else um, grab this clip maybe move it down here and really it's kind of real easy it's real basic and in my next tutorial I'm going to show you how to do titles and overlays so hopefully this is helpful for you um, enjoy